Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a look at The Last Spell. Uh, this is a game that's in early access on Steam. I don't know a lot about it, uh, but Lyra has really encouraged me to play this, so I'm going to have a look and I'm probably going to love it. <laughs> uh, so I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard. I don't know if this game actually has controller support yet, but I'll have a look at the options once I've clicked through. Uh, yeah, so it's in early access. Uh, I believe it's like a roguelike sort of thing. Uh, because as you can see, it's hard and procedurally generated and highly replayable, that kind of thing. That's, that sounds very roguelike to me, but I could be wrong. Let's jump in and have a look. Uh, we've got a lot of music. Um, <laughs> I might turn down my volume a tiny bit so I can hear better. There we go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, on this title screen here we've got some very nice pixel art. Uh... Hopefully the video quality will be better now. Um, as as I mentioned on Fetty, I had messed up my OBS settings. The recording quality should be a lot better now than it was. Uh, so hopefully that is fixed now. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, we changed the turbo mode. Uh, running background constraint mouse. Uh, I've got warnings on end of turn and production phase. I don't know what that means yet because I'm inside the game. Uh, I didn't mess with any of these settings, this is just what it did by default, and yeah, this is quite reasonable. Um, yeah, I just set everything to uh, 1080 at 60 hertz, uh, borderless full screen. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Audio, you can mess with the volume if you want. Uh, controls. Uh, I was encouraged to fiddle with this a bit because a lot of stuff is arranged on like the right side of the keyboard, and I am right-handed, so it might be nice to move some stuff to the left side of the keyboard. Uh, like that. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, I'll probably use my mouse wheel to zoom, so I probably don't need keys for that. That should be fine. Let's see how it goes. Uh, accessibility. You can turn down screen shake. That's the only option in here. Um, I was hoping to see a bit more in this tab. As you know, I tend to uh, care a lot about this kind of thing, so it's a little sad that there's only one option in here. To be fair, this is an early access game, so it's, you know they may be adding more stuff, but this hasn't happened yet. Uh, I will dial this down, uh, let's say 40%. Just to make it a little easier on the eyes. Uh, and I guess I hit new campaign now? Loading map. Uh, I guess I click on Lakeburg. Uh, I'll let you know if there's anything under my face. I'm keeping an eye on that. Uh, boop. Lakeburg. Formerly a prosperous city on the shores of a peaceful lake. Starting setup medium, standard difficulty, easy mode. The last spell was designed with a certain difficulty in mind. Is the experience we crafted and wanted you to play? But it might not be for everyone. We understand that, so we added some optional gameplay modifiers to tailor the difficulty to anyone's preference. Oh, okay. So they do have an accessibility uh, thing here in terms of difficulty settings, which we could use. Uh, let's go in with the standard and see what happens. I suppose it looks like you maybe unlock more cities as you go, and there's like uh, this is the easiest one, and then there's more that are more difficult. Uh, that's the impression I'm getting anyway. War. War never changes. Centuries the world was engulfed in never-ending strife and chaos. And nice pixel art. <laughs> Elves fighting dwarves. Dwarves fighting men. Orcs fighting everyone. Okay, so, um... It's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Common folk were bled dry. Poverty. Famine. Disease. Secluded in his tower, researching forbidden magic secrets, the Archmage Hieronymus Teller made an, anon an extraordinary discovery. I had the word anonymous in my mind because his name sounds like anonymous. <laughs> uh, a wild, unknown type of magic with tremendous power. Spells of mass destruction able of obliterating any city in one strike. Oh no, that sounds bad. Driven by the hope of ending all wars. Uh, don't, don't do this. 
He launched a spell on a small village. Oh no. I, I feel like this maybe happened in World War II and it was one of the greatest atrocities that has ever happened. <laughs> a gigantic dark ball of purple flames fell from the sky and smashed into the town center. The word center is under my face. Leaving only ruin, lifeless bodies, and purple fumes. A whole royal family of a neighbouring kingdom was present at the time. They all died. This is really good pixel art. The king, mad with grief, ordered his mages to research this new magic. He made his mages unleash hell on the neighbouring capital city. Several hundred thousand died. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this meant to look like, you know, a nuke being dropped. I'm pretty sure that's what they're going for. The tremor shook all the kingdoms. All of them researched the purple magic. Oh no, it's the Cold War. The sky was constantly flashing purple bursts. Thundering explosions were heard every hour. War was no more. Only annihilation. There was no turning back. At some point, the explosions stopped. A resounding silence. Strange mists started to aggregate around the remaining cities. Radiation mist? Small groups of survivors started to gather. The mist around them was thickening. At night, they had to defend against attacks from strange monsters. They called them Loras. Okay. They appointed a leader, the commander, and started rebuilding roofs and defenses. A new haven. The words new haven are under my, my face right now. Most mages were hanged, or worse, in retribution. Some of them, fearing for their lives, tried to find an answer. They found a way. A spell. The Last Spell. That's the title of this game. <laughs> they built a circle of power to channel their combined magic. The goal was simple, yet nearly impossible. Channel enough energy to summon and break the seal of magic and banish all magic from this world, forever. Yeah, that does sound simple. But when comes the night, terrifying mutated creatures come out of the mist to kill. Okay, so it, it's it, it's like a, a nuclear, uh, nuclear fallout sort of situation and uh, the radiation has produced a zombie apocalypse, I guess? Survivor's only hope is to fight, night after night. Oh look, it's the title screen. And protect these mages, at all cost. Until the last spell is cast. So are the zombies powered by magic? Will casting the last spell stop them from working, or...? I guess we'll find out. Loading. <laughs> Welcome, Commander. Defend the last bastion of humanity with your squad of heroes. Exterminate fiendish monsters with magic and brute force by night and rebuild your battered city defences by day. Your goal, you must protect the magic circle until the mage is cast. The last spell, the title of this game. You lose if the magic circle is destroyed or all your heroes are dead. Okay. Position your heroes. Place them just outside the city with this icon. I think I messed up my uh, controlled Wawa instead of Wasid. That sounds like I messed that up somehow. The city stash is unavailable during the night, so make sure to equip all your gear beforehand. The direction of incoming hordes is shown in the commander's journal. 
camera can be moved using arrows slash wawa, edge panning, or camera grip with mouse button 3. Let me just make sure I didn't mess up the controls here. No, it lasted. Yeah, that, that's fine, it's working. Okay, um, let me see. Okay, so these are my heroes. I've got Arthur, Eleonora, and Arlotta. And the, we know the hordes are coming from the southeast, which is this direction. So we want to send these people. Do I like right click or? I do not right click. Okay, you click on them and then you left click where you want to put them. That's not what I expected. This is very nice pixel art, I gotta say. I, I know I've said that a couple of times, but it is. It's, it's very, very nice. Uh, where's the city stash? Do I have access to that yet? I don't think I do. Oh, here it is. City stash. It's empty. Notion teller, worried. Oh, increased dodge, reduced health. Light traveler. Uh, better criticals, less bag slots, fortune teller, magic down. Oh, I see. I see how it works. Okay. Um. I guess I want to end my turn now, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, here we are. End phase. Fight monsters until they're all dead. Move your heroes and use their skills in any order you like. Once you're done, comes the heal horde's turn. Any enemy within your haven or damaging its buildings will cause some panic. At the end of the night, the panic level determines your rewards. Health and mana are not fully restored each day. Consult the character sheet for each hero's daily health or mana regen. Heroes have two different weapon sets, and swap them to fairly any time. Uh, any attribute modifier is always applied, even for the weapon set that's not currently active. Uh, available skills depending on the gear they have equipped. I can use the number hotkeys. Any movement is cancelable until you cast a skill. Okay. What skills do I have here? Sort of Damocles, Transfer, Magic Missiles, Brace, and Punch. When I select you, you have different skills, right? Yes. Do I have anything that can sweep across the whole group is my question. Uh, I do, I have something called Tight Volley here. Oh, I see, it's got the layout of like what shape it will hit. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, and there's a Rain of Arrows. I think I want Tight Volley. And yeah, I can, I can just target it however I want. Uh, it hits the most people roughly there. Oop. <laughs> Uh, I can't use it again, I think, this turn? Yeah, once per turn. I see. Okay, let's bring out a Rain of Arrows as well. There-ish. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> and what can you do? Slice. Dash. Blade Rush. Oh, you hit three people in a row. Okay. Uh, I'll move you to here, and then I use Blade Rush. Yeah, go. Oh, oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Hang on. Uh, what is it to rotate? Ah? Uh? Maybe I can't hit them because I'm going into the fog at the back? I don't really understand. Um, hang on, Axel. Can I move back a space and then try to do it? Does it work? No. I, I don't really get how this works. <laughs> okay, let's just move here and use flies. Boop. Boop. <laughs> yeah, I'm allowed over here. I'm not sure why Blade Rush wasn't working. Hmm. Uh, I want to move. 
move, please. I stuck? I can't move anymore? Oh, there's move points, I see. I'm doing my last move. Controls are a little weird. <laughs> I'm kind of getting used to them. Uh, now I would like you to go back here and get out of the way. There's a little bit uh, sort of Final Fantasy Tactics-y. It's kind of like that. Uh... Oh, range. No, it's three to eight. Oh, they have to be three away. Oh, I see how it works. Okay. Boop. Oh, what? You're not allowed to dodge, that's cheating. Boop. There we go. Thank you, magic missiles. Uh, then you go over there. Uh, can you do anything else this turn? Doesn't look like it to be out of something. Little like lightning bolt points. And there's magic points as well. Oh action points, I see. Okay. Uh you go here, I reckon. Uh let's enter and see what happens, I guess. Blade rush yet, or am I doing something wrong? Oh, I think the space I, I end up at needs to be clear so I can land there. I think. I think. This is confusing. Uh, I'm kind of expecting to lose this first round because the way these games tend to work is that they start by like. Uh, introducing you to how the game, they, they like slowly, slowly introduce how the game works by having you die the first time and then you go back with some new abilities, that kind of thing. Uh, let's go over here. Play brush, let me do that. It will. Okay, that's good stuff. Uh, that guy. I don't think I'm about stuck. I can do anything else from here. Oh, I can actually dash across to get closer, but I don't think I want to do that. I can't do it, so... I guess I'll end the turn again. Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Please form an orderly line so that I can just boop you all away instead of having to... Deal with all of this. Blade Rush. Oh, very good. Now you're now out of abilities for the turn. I'll move you over there because you're a bit low on health. Uh... Yeah, I can target them twice? I can. Okay. Uh, boop, boop. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, can I do more magic missiles? I will do more magic missiles. The sort of Damocles does... Oh, it's similar damage, actually. So, yeah, I'll do that. I'll try to keep close. Uh, put here and do it. I'm, like, 
attacking me and bleeding? I'm not sure what effect that has. Oh, I see. They, they, they do less damage, they cause less panic based on how many little blood drops they have. I see, I see. Okay. Uh, running a bit low on mana. Go over there. Um, Magic is weakening. You need that. You still need some swords of damage, please, though. Okay. Uh, over there, and then. Ooh! There aren't that many enemies left. I'm doing an okay job here. Uh, you, Blade Rush that way. Those ones. Uh, you. Um, I'm not tired, is the thing. <laughs> Rain of arrows? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that works. Works pretty well. You. <laughs> Pretty much out of abilities now. Move over there. You've still got all your stuff. Uh, oh, but I'm running out of mana, so I can't use too many magic missiles. Okay, there's only like what, two of them left. Yeah. Okay. the sunrise. Okay, we gained some experience. Oh, we lost a lot of HP. Yeah, C grade. <laughs> oh my goodness. Continue. City protection. S rank, apparently. Not bad. All the prizes. B. phase assign workers to buildings tasks on the buildings you've built on the buildings you have built on ruins to get a gold and materials by destroying them spend gold to construct buildings upgrade them buy new gear for heroes and more spend materials to erect defenses around the haven uh level up the heroes increase their primary and secondary attributes to reinforce strength or alleviate a weakness perks yeah you can give them passive abilities 
uh, items have two elements to define their power, level and rarity. So the level uh, gives you the, just the damage lot numbers and stuff. The rarity uh, gives them bonus attributes, which are based on the color. Okay, okay. Is that health by like how much time I need to survive for? Or yeah, I'm guessing this needs to fill all the way. No, is that gonna be? That's gonna be a while. <laughs> Okay, so we're in, like, production mode now. Start by leveling up. Um, let me see. We do again? I can get some perks, but, like, what? What oh, weapons and stuff are you holding, is my question. Oh, it's over here. Uh... Sword. I think you were the one doing the uh, dashes through enemies and stuff. Oh yeah, they're down here. I see. Okay. So yeah, I probably want to focus on physical if I can. Maybe more move points? Maybe more armor? Armor might be good. Let's go with that. Oh, and a secondary attribute. Um, get a healing multiplier. Reliability. Ooh. Uh, mana regen, stun chance. I don't think I have a stun effect, so. I think boosting reliability might be good. I can get a perk. Uh, fatality, execute any enemy with less than 15 health and melee range. Uh, more experience. Armor is increased based on daily health regen. Critical master increases the critical chance if from each non-crit. Upgrade the punch. Boost your potion, poison damage. I don't think I have a poison attack, so poison damage wouldn't help me. Um, I think fatality is probably strongest out of my options here. We can level up. Arthur, uh, you have... Oh, you're the one with the bow. Okay. So, you probably want more range damage, maybe more resistance. Oh, you have a trait that reduces your resistance. Yeah, juggler. So, boosting it up a bit might be a good idea to compensate for that. Uh, momentum? I don't think I have that. Experience gain. Perk for you. Are these the same ones? Yeah, it looks like it. Steady aim sounds good. Uh, I also want to check. Um, there's a there's a hero customization button here. I think I click that. Yes. Uh, hello. I, there's a lot of options here. Um, so if I I believe you just hit uh, yeah, random names. Also changes the pose, which is kind of funny. Uh, yeah, you can just go, uh, let's go femme, let's go mask, any, and it'll just shuffle through all the options, which is neat. Uh, is there a randomize everything button, or do I need to do it all separately? Oh, there it is, everything. Boop. Oh, I like that. It's a nice undercut you have, though. <laughs> cool. Uh... Arlotta, uh, you are our mage, so physical damage wouldn't help you much. Mana would. Um... Health regen, I think is good. And you need a perk. Uh, as long as you didn't move, you increase your accuracy and skill range. I think that might be good. Cool. Uh, so yeah, kind of hero customization in here it seems to be quite flexible. You can see there's a lot of options here. Uh, let's just mash this button a couple times and see what happens. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of people in here. <laughs> oh, that's, that looks good. Let's go with that. 
I, I like juxtaposing that with the fact that, that, you know, she's a mage. I think that's a nice combination. <laughs> oh, they don't seem to have pronouns specifically, which is nice. Uh, I got a knight reward. Here's a reward. Oh, I see. Uh, I get new equipment. Uh, and better dodge, mana regen, resistance, uh, better armor, increases health, reduces move, because it's kind of heavy, I guess. Uh, okay, that one increases. I think this one might be the best for Raquel, but let's have a look at the others and see what they think of it. Uh, oh, no one's actually wearing a hat, so I don't need to swap it with anything. Hmm. I think taking our melee fighter here and giving uh, more dodge and resistance there is probably the best. Because they're most likely to get close. Um. Okay, now I need to build some structures. I don't really know what they do yet. Temple. Can restore some health to heroes during production phase with the help of workers. Mana well. Can restore some mana. Shop. Grants the ability to buy or sell items during production phase. Okay. Hmm, we took a lot of damage. Definitely would be a good idea to have a temple. Uh, let's put it way over here where it won't get hit. Uh, I can't make anything else, I only had enough money for one thing. I can buy some new gear by the looks of things. <laughs> Hurtle chance. Oh, that's cute. Action points, dodge, accuracy, resistance, reduction. Uh, I can't afford that, but I can't afford my jewels if I get it. Roll. Let's grab this and see what happens. Ready to drag it? Into my stash? Okay. Uh, how do I equip this stuff? Don't worry, melee fighter. I'll give you this hat. Oh, cool. It changes the sprite. Uh, this thing. Accuracy, resistance, reduction, action points, and dodge. Uh, I'm going to give that to you. See how that goes. Uh, then I can buy some... I've done that. Uh, build defenses. How much scrap do I have? Not a whole lot. Wooden wall. Doesn't block line of sight. Wooden gate. Oh, none of these block line of sight, I think. Except maybe the gate. Is that all I can afford to do? That's a start. <laughs> uh, work is available. I guess I'll put them in here. How do I do that? Oh, I have to click on it like that and then tell them who to heal, I think. Probably uh... you? Oh, wait, I healed full. Okay. Okay, cool. That's That's good. Uh, and I think that's about all I can do at this point. <laughs> I guess it's end phase and we just get some more enemies. Uh, hang on, you get over here. Uh, yeah, behind the barricade. Where world do you long to see? Uh, okay. Yeah, and you just get, you just get right behind it because you are our archer. Uh, you get over there. And you're our mage, despite, uh, the look I've given you with the big shield and stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, so that should do the trick. End phase. Oh, now it's deployment. This is when I'm supposed to place them. But I already placed them where I want them, so... I guess we're good. Already missed a clock.
of a magic missile and one of these. And then one of these. And you're out of action points. Now you Yeah, you have the melee stuff going on, which is not best for Okay, okay we're gonna type volley there. Creep that one. Good. Uh, and then you... Uh, yeah, you have no ranged attacks, so I guess I need to take you up close. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Now yeah, you're out of movement points already. And that one's like in the smoke or whatever, so I can't see them yet. Weird. Uh, dash, dash over to about here. There we go. In turn. Oh, there's another one there. Did not see that. Um, oh wait, hang on. Let's do this. And then that. There we go. That's what I had in mind. So many of them. They are in trouble. <laughs> Like that, for example. I can't climb over. Mm. Mm. I think we're out of attacks at this point. Put you over there, I think. Oh my 
god, there are so many of them. You're in trouble. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me! This game's hard. Um, then hits two. If I go over there, I can hit three. <laughs> I have no idea what the map potions are in this game. And now you're out of actions. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Um if I go over here, am I close enough to no. Get that one. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh no! You're going to lose. <laughs> I 
don't have line of sight? Really? Alright. Right now. <laughs> survive the night, but I think we're doing otherwise very well. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we survived the night. I mean, you say that wasn't so bad, but someone's dead, so... <laughs> oh no. Uh, does D respawn at the end, or are they gone forever? How does this work? Yeah, that was not a good battle. I, I did very poorly. Alright, we're screwed, yeah. That is correct. Oh no, they're coming from multiple directions. Oh, I am in trouble. Uh, you are... yeah, you're the physical damage expert, so I'll give you that one. Uh... A lot more health regen, sounds good to you. Okay, I get to pick some more perks. Mark skill, debuff an enemy, stunning, 15% stun chance. Soul Reaper, killing an enemy instantly helps the original tainted essence. I don't know what that is. Are <coughs> mm. <laughs> you gonna have a big old uh, sneeze there? Uh, poisonous sounds good. When they land an attack in melee, they get poisoned. Ugh. And I can take another perk. Oh, I can take it from either section. I see how this works. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I need to level you up as well. Okay, so you're the one with the bow. I think armor's good for everyone, honestly. Uh, more health is good. Um, I 
more mana regen so I can use my uh, big volleys and stuff more often. Uh, damage multipliers are good. Okay. I'll give you a thrifty and... Regulation. Let's see how that goes. Um, okay, I can build a mana well or a shop. Oh, I already have a shop, I see. Okay. okay mana well, there we go. Uh, that's a new gear. Oh, the stuff. Uh, that she had before dying is now in my city stash. I see how it works. Okay. Uh, we are short on funds. I can't afford any of this stuff. I guess I could sell this, but that's not going to be worth much. A couple of wands for sale, but I don't have anyone to really use them now. That's a slightly better bow. Basically the same thing though. Also, I can't afford it. <laughs> um. Let's try that. Okay, uh, then I can restore some health. I will. To you. There we go. And then I want to use my other building uh, to restore some mana to you. There we go. Okay. Let's see how we go. I have a feeling we're going to die at the end at the end of this round, but let's see how we go. Mission heroes. Uh, you can stay there. I'm going to move you over here. I'm not sure if the way you're facing matters in this game. Because it does in Final Fantasy Tactics, it's really important. But this one, I'm not sure. Well, those barricades didn't do much. <laughs> Worth a try. Can I attack these people yet? Oh, they're too far away because they're in the fog. I just broke my own barricade. Oh my god. Okay, let's back you up a little bit. Uh, you just you just sit tight for the time being. Uh, can you shoot them? No. Okay, they can't actually attack yet because that barricade is stopping the enemies from like entering the field of view. So I guess I'll just end my turn and wait for them to come forward a bit. Oh. Hello. trouble.
forget to have her attack at all? I think I did. <laughs> Oops. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe you can't rotate this one. Yeah, it's F to rotate, but you need something you can rotate, I believe. Okay, uh, you, where are you? Here? Okay, can, I, can you do this? That, that'd, that'd be great. Get you out of that big cluster. Sure can. Uh, then walk to here and do it again. Uh, then... Where are you standing? Just stab that person. Uh, and that'll do for now. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Unlocks nothing. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm guessing if I click on them, I can see, yeah, the character sheets and stats and stuff. Uh, what's happening here? Welcome to the orac or Oraculum, Commander. The. Lower your voice, fool. You will get us caught, and all will be for naught. Well, where am I? The oraculum is what I said. Are you deaf beyond dead? A rather formidable place, if I do say so myself, deep inside your mind, deep inside your head. Who are you? I am the shadows, I am the dark, I am the pain deep inside your heart. Don't tell the other one, for I will help you. Let it be a little devious secret between me and you. Would you be so kind, Mr. Partake, of those useless souls you've let you complain? In exchange, I will share powers and secrets to help you in your formidable quest. Will you sell your tainted essence to me, dear? Uh... How much do I have? Oh, I see, down the bottom here. Oh, I see, okay. So I can unlock... So yeah, this is this is the um, roguelike progression system the game has. Look back. Who's this person? Rejoice, O oh Earth and Sea, for I have come with gifts in hand. What the? Fear not, mortal. I wish thee no harm. <laughs> Be not afraid. Eyes everywhere. <laughs> Who are you? I am but a gleam, a mere refraction of what I could become. A whisper in the dawn, I was two, but now I am one. Where am I? Nowhere and everywhere, we dwell deep down and high above. Cometh to me whenever thou achieves, whenever thou achievest mighty deeds, and I shall reward thou and thy people. Let us all rejoice, we will live again, for thou will live again until thy work here is done. <laughs> now go, my prodigal herald of hope. And cometh again. I don't. I don't think you used the word pr prodigal correctly, but, but all right. Leave my blessings for thy wondrous accomplishments. Oh, I see. This is like uh, the other progression system based on your achievements. Uh, you get prizes from for that. Ooh, upgrade Lakeburg. New Lakeburg Haven, as well as so now some initial vestige walls. Play one run. Okay. Oh, more stuff. Oh wow, I see. So these will fill up as I play. Survive the night out or under level 1 of City Panic, 5 times. Level 2 of City Panic, 10 times. Oh, I see. I got a spear, longbow, power staff. Uh, foresee glimpses of the enemy horde and repel the mist for a time. Scavenger camp building, passively gathering some materials. Gold mine, it's regenerating gold. Lower mist. The mist gets closer every two days instead of every day. Uh, upgrade Lake Broke 2. Uh, upgrade the vestige walls to wooden walls. Okay. Back. On this side, yeah, I can give you Tainted Essence. I seem to have a decent amount, so I can probably spend it on this. 
Oh, that's very, that's very, uh, Dead Cells. I like it. Action points. Heroes are generated with plus one action point. Armor Maker. Unlock the Armor Maker building, crafting defensive gear for your foe, your heroes. Okay, uh, I don't know if I need to spend this before I leave, or, uh, I guess I'll just go back and see what happens. Loading map. Lakeburg 2, uh, Electric Boogaloo? Okay, let's get back again. Opening sequence. Hit Discord, Publishers. I'm just kind of wondering, uh, if you can go back there to the, uh, to the, like, Ascension screen in the middle of your run. Oh, I see. A easy mode has a bunch of modifiers. You get, you start with golden materials. They get cheaper. Give the magic circle more health. Make the wave smaller. Start with an extra hero, and you can tick any of these that you want. That's nice. Uh, I hit start. I'm probably about to finish the video because it's been about an hour, but you can probably basically see what this game is about. It. Uh, it's it's kind of like a city builder meets meets FF Tactics, I guess. Uh, who have we got this time? We got Prisha, Stanislaus, and Halefa. Oh yeah, you start with the deployment phase. Oh yeah, we've got some walls now. You can see, uh, they're not great, but we've got some walls. I think those are the new things. And if we look at our character sheets here, oh hang on, hang on. Is that a new button? I can't click it, but I think it's new. Uh, <laughs> wizard. Extra magic damage, less mana, less daily mana regen. That's really funny. <laughs> Aristocratic, one trinket slot. Oh, I see. Trinket slots are these ones. In skinned. Oh, you have some uh, bad trays here. <laughs> That's not a good one. It has no benefit. <laughs> City Stash, yeah, the same sort of perks available. I'm guessing we can unlock more of these as we play, uh, given that the game seems to have that sort of progression. Uh, what have you got? Stanislaus, Noble, you also get an extra trinket slot. Rugged, you get extra armor. Incompetent, <laughs> minus three damage. Uh, carrier, extra bag slot. I didn't know they had, they didn't know they had bag slots. Oh, these ones, I see. Extra bag slot, more health, more resistance, minus move. Slow poke, minus move again. Oh, you mustn't have, you must have a very low move points. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, where, where, where are your move points? There, six. A seven, trays, minus two, gear, plus one. I guess one of these pieces of gear is letting you move faster. Oh yeah, it's a cloth armor. Okay. And then we have, yeah, that's all three of them. Okay, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. So, yeah, this game looks pretty fun. Um, it basically, yeah, it's like a, uh, sort of, uh, tactics combat roguelike, if that, if that's, if that makes sense. I, I think it makes sense. Oh, and yeah, you just have your little heroes and... It looks like, like, and again, the pixel art, like I said this multiple times during the video, the pixel art is gorgeous. It looks really, really nice. Uh, oh, and they're coming from the northeast this time. Okay, um, the heroes at the top there. And yeah, I, it just looks really good to me. Um, and I'm looking forward to see where this game goes. Partly because, you know, it has to unlock parts and get more of it. Probably because it's an early access, and I assume they'll be adding more stuff as we go. Uh... Oh, I see. So I need to survive, like, I think 10 nights? 3, 4, 5, 6... Oh, 12. 12 nights. In order for the last spells to actually be prepared. Okay. Uh, okay, and I can turn these on to let me know if I've forgotten to do something. Action points remaining, motionless heroes... I put those on, actually. Actually, I'll put all of these on, honestly. Simplify things. Uh, now you can abandon your run if you want. So yeah, um, 
This turned out to be a bit better than I thought because it's not just this, there's also that easy mode thing that gives you options like having more heroes, having more health, having more resources, all that stuff. So the accessibility isn't too bad, I'd say. Mm, could be better, but mm, given it's in early access, I'm not too disappointed. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was the last spell. Uh, back to the main menu. Lakeberg number two. Ends credits, opening sequence. I assume that replays the thing about uh, about war, war never changes that I did at the beginning. And the feedback button. Uh, yeah, that's about it for this video, I think. Oh, it says give us your feedback. The part under my face is your feedback. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so that's, that's the last spell. Uh, a game that's in early access that looks to be super duper fun, but also very hard. But if it is very hard, there are options to help you with that. <laughs> oh gosh. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>